All right, so we know <clears throat> that t is uh, t minus mg is this. So t is going to be equal to mv squared over r plus mg. So the opposite of what we did up there where it was minus. Um, and then, of course, that's just going to be m times v squared over r plus g. Now we need to get that v. Um, so once again, we have to say mei equals mef. And so we're starting off at ke, this is at the top, plus pe from the top is going to equal, oh, that's crazy. Wow. Massive lag. Massive. Okay, uh, k equal c is going to equal the k e final. So we have one half m the initial squared plus m g h, which is going to be two times r. It's going to equal one half m d squared. M's cancel, and I get v final is equal to the square root of v zero squared once again plus two g to r. <clears throat> so I grab my calculator and I say square root actually if I recall from above and then just turn my previous thing into 1.6 as a height now I get a velocity of 6.31 meters per second. So then I go back over here and I do m, which is 0.3 times 6.31 squared divided by 0.8 plus 9.8. I get 17.9 newtons. So you can see there is a dramatic, dramatic increase of force from 0.2 to 9 to 17.9 to almost 18.